Good afternoon, everybody in YouTube world. This is the Warlord, and I have another tutorial for Fire Stick here. Today, we are going to explore Terrarium TV. Download it, install it, and once you're at that point, uh, you are free to follow this tutorial. I just downloaded and installed Terrarium TV to my Bluestacks player, so some of these features, the way things look, might look a little bit different than it will on your Fire Stick. Nevertheless, we're here, so let's get started. Uh, while we're waiting, it seems that uh, Cody has just been breaking. They walked away from it. Lord only knows what they're doing with it. A lot of people are coming to me saying, fix my fire stick. And this is the solution I've found for them. The best solution I've found for them. There's no complicated web rules or anything like that. So the first time you fire up Terrarium TV, um, <clears throat> please excuse my voice. I'm getting over a cold. So if you hear me sniffling or anything in the background, I apologize. But uh, I digress. First time you fire up Terrarium TV, you're going to find this change log. It shows up anytime the program updates. Like us on Facebook, okay? Select which video player you want to use. I recommend the Yes Player. I know it works. And I'm going to show you how to install it uh, right now. They recommend Yes Player. I recommend Yes Player. Accept the disclaimer. And let's get right into getting Yes Player installed onto your Fire Stick. The way I do that is the, the first menu you're going to see here. This is the television show menu, and I'll just click on any random television show. I will open up one of its seasons, and I will select an episode from there, okay? Um, this right here, this feature, allows you to switch seasons without having to back out of the screen. This uh, feature over here allows you to sh see which episodes you have viewed. Now, on Fire Stick, when you have viewed them, there will be a thin green line at the top of the episode. If you have started it and haven't finished it, it will be a thin blue line, much like the thin blue line underneath episode one here. On blue stacks, though, it highlights the whole thing with a green box. So without uh, any further ado here, let's uh, go ahead and open up episode two. There are two ways you can play a stream on Terrarium TV. One of them is to cursor over to the upper right hand corner where the play button is and simply click it or you can click on the episode and then long click it and it will start playing automatically for your Fire TV. Those are the two ways you can do it. Now, this feature up here just simply allows you to switch your video player. Say you were watching something on VLC, it was working okay, now it's not. You want to switch to via uh, Yes Player. There you go. That's what this is up here for. This here basically allows you to skip forward in the episodes. Okay, see, notice that's going to change to four, and then over here again, it's going to change to five. Okay, so that's what that button does, and this will just close out the whole page altogether. Much like in Cody or in Exodus, Genesis, whatever you want to call it, you would have to wait for your sources to download. Same thing here, that's basically what you're doing. Personally, I've found that the CDNs, the fast servers, and the Google video streams all seem to work the best for me. Moving forward, we will select play. Now, the yes player prompt is going to come up. You're going to install it. Since I'm working on BlueStacks, we're coming to the Google Play Store. On your Fire Stick, this will not happen. It will just simply download and install automatically. We're going to back out of here. And we're going to come back to this screen, which on your Fire Stick, I don't even think you leave this screen. It just stays there. When it's done downloading and you have yes player installed, click on the stream again click on play again and it should work and there we go uh, mine's buffering a bit here that should clear up in a second there it goes okay so we're not gonna sit here and waste time watching it buffer uh, exit yes now I want to show you something I want to touch on something but sometimes when you back out of an episode and first I want to clarify that down here in the lower left hand corner you'll see this little u-turn shaped arrow on your fire stick, you have the same, you have a button with that same arrow on it. We're going to refer to this as the back button. So say you've started watching an episode, something's not right with it, or it's the wrong episode or whatever. Just click that back button and it will back you out, usually into an advertisement like this. Most of these advertisements can be skipped past by simply clicking the back button again. Every once in a while you run into one that's animated and it forces you to sit there and watch it. Clicking the back button doesn't seem to do any justice at all but 
a little extra info for you guys. So we click out of that, we get out of the advertisement, we're going to just keep going back. All right. And all of this that you've been watching is on the TV side of things. Okay. With regards to TV, you've got your, your categories here, like drama, say you're into dramas, right? Or say there's a show you, you don't see it right away. You just want to search for it. Maybe it's an older show. We have the search feature right here. Okay. With the search feature, you can search for anything that's movie or television show. They have the two categories right here. So when I typed in Star Wars, it brought up all the tar Star Wars television shows. If I click on movies, it will show me all of the Star Wars movies. Okay. That's the way the search feature works. This right here is favorites. As you can see, we have no favorites. How do we get favorites? Well, right now we're on television shows. So we're going to uh, just say click on Vikings here. This hollowed out star in the upper right hand corner. You click on it, it turns solid, and the show is on your, your favorites. To verify this, you can click on the star icon and you can see that it's there. I have no favorite movies, but if I wanted a favorite movie, I could click on the menu, go to movies, say click on Star Wars, and again, repeat the same process to get that solid. And now when I go to my favorites, I'll have Vikings in my TV shows and Star Wars in my movies. The year filter. Now on, some, now on TV shows and movies alike, some categories will pop up this year filter here. It's this upside down pyramid in the upper right hand corner. If I select a category like in theaters, it disappears. And I suspect the reason for this is because Anything could be in theaters. Drama, action, comedy, uh, thrillers. It, 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 anything could be in a theater. So the year filter for some reason disappears. But when you get onto the actual categories, it reappears and will allow you to find movies from a specific year. Okay. Now, it works the same way with television shows, except that you have to know what year the first episode aired. I'll give you an example here. Modern Family, it says 2009, okay? That was when the first episode aired. So if I select 2009, Modern Family should stay in my selections, and it does. But say I want to watch like an episode from 2015, and Modern Family is still on the air. They're still writing new episodes. But you see it has disappeared, okay? So be careful when you're, when you're using the year filter for television shows moving on what else can we talk about here um, your options this is your settings up here these three dots in the upper right hand corner you click on settings there's a whole bunch of settings in here it allows you to choose your default video player you can here you can also add your your tracked in account and there's there's many of other options default navigation you know just go through them play with it have some fun customize it make it your own so uh, as you can see uh, it's not like you have to download terrarium tv and then put add-ons on and then go through there and put in web URLs and screw with repositories or anything like that terrarium is pretty straightforward it's lightweight it's pretty responsive i like the way it performs and uh, while i did my best to try and touch on all the features that this application has to offer if i've missed anything or if you have any questions or comments please feel free to put them down below in the comments section. And if you like what you saw, you found it helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, so thank you guys very much for watching once again, and uh, have a great night.